be weird because like not, no teachers would be anywhere and like we wouldn't we wouldn't understand each other. What would the world be like without careful teachers? It would have been like the worst thing ever. I really don't know what I would do. Well, there'd be like no guidance, I think. What would our school be like without teachers? Well, let me tell you. The road would be uh, crazier without teachers. I feel like I would be dumb. Like, life would be hard without them. Um, I have to think about it more. Everybody, they won't have an education, so they won't know a lot of things about the world, I guess. It would be like, it would be chaos. We won't know what we want to be when we grow up. The world would be bad. Or nobody would be having great jobs or anything. Just some random jobs. Just madness, because no one would know anything, or people would be like, saying the wrong things to each other. Uh, confused. It would be crazy because like, they won't be there like, to control us. The world without tips or teachers would be really limited. It would like cut off the amount of freedom we have to choose our own paths and to choose the life we want to be in and to advance in ways that like no other student can. I think there would be more violence because many people want to know what's right and what's wrong. They won't be listening to people and they'll do whatever they want. I like my teachers. I think they're my support system because if anything, uh, if I need help or something, they'll always be there to help me. The greatest memory I like that first year, the first day of school, I get to meet all the teachers. They're trying to help us. It's, it's awesome. I feel like I'm lucky to have them there because they're always pushing me to do my best and I always thank them for that. And they're helping me become a better person because I spend more time with them than I spend with my family so we've gotten to build a strong relationship. It's just here, amazing. I feel like they see like that we all have like this, this potential. I feel like we're, we're all like we all have like the world in our, our palm. The teachers are cool because like they ask me when I need help, and they show that they care about my education and my future. They're helping me do, do the things that I couldn't do in the past when I didn't do so well, and they encourage me to do better. Uh, I see my teachers as my second family. Yeah, I like my teachers because they help me become a better person. And when I started knowing them more, I started just opening up to them, telling them, and showing them the real me. You know, they're always there, like, yeah, some days it may not be my best days, but they're always there for me, and they always help me out. The thing I would like to say to Ms. Wong is thank you for being there for me and helping me when I need it. Thank you, Ms. Elgera, for everything that you've done for me. Thank you for all the hard work um, you've done. One thing I'll tell Mr. Justin is that he's very supportive and he's like open to other people and I like how he like did a group of like other other guys to show that he, he's caring. Miss Sabatiera. I would like to thank Mrs. Sabatiera because she's helping us out when she wants to spend time with the family but no she's still she's still trying to help us out. And I appreciate that she's just doing it just for us. When I performed that one to monologue in front of everyone help. Mr. Spradlin inspired me to be almost confident and strong to perform this monologue in front of a lot of parents and the seventh graders and I felt really proud of myself when I did. Ms. G, I would like to tell you that you made a really big impact in my life. You've helped me become a better person and you've allowed me to be myself because you've always told me that everybody else is taken. When I was upset because I had a problem with happened during my family, I would go to Mr. Peck and he would go, everything will be fine. And he would tell me, oh, you're, you've been you're going through a lot of things and I'm very proud of you because nobody has ever done those things with you. Ms. Omnia, I would like to say thank you for all your help. 
Israela helps me out with my math problems and she comes over and explains it and I think that that cares that she cares about me. Ms. Cordero, uh, thank you. For sometimes you like give me a hard time and stuff. And you're always on top of me and I thank you for that. Well, I like Mr. Park because sometimes he will get a little too off topic about <laughs> funny stuff and all that. And he makes us all laugh because even because he he probably know we're sometimes we're gonna have bad days, but he'll try to make our days all good by entertaining us. I didn't want to go to school no more, and Miss Hawkins was there, and then she would talk to me and tell me she was there, and she was gonna hear warm hugs. And yeah, I felt like they they're always there for me, even though when I don't realize it. I would like to thank Miss Shawnfield because she'll give me chances if I was doing bad or. She won't give me reminders, she'll give me like a lot of warnings and thank you for trusting me in the um, experiments. Look, I remember uh, she pulled me out, I thought she was going like, to talk to me about something like, like something I did bad or something. And um, she gave me a moleskin notebook and I like ha had it in my hand, I was just like so happy and like peeled off the wrapper. It was like, um, like it was like opening a brand new video game. One thing that I would like to tell Ms. Franco is thank you for taking me through math problems step by step and you're the teacher that I'm always going to remember and go UCLA do. I like Miss Allen's class because it, she makes us laugh and tells us jokes and she makes the, she makes the classroom enjoyable. Miss Minix, I would like to say thank you for helping me see the bigger picture because before I would get into lots of trouble and you know, you helped me realize that I would probably end up in better places and uh, now I care about my education because of you. I'd like to tell Mr. Torres that thank you for um, volunteering to be our music teacher and I like playing with the cello so I'm thanking you for letting us have an opportunity to play with the instruments so we can get good and I know that with your help I'll be very successful with my cello. The only thing I tell Ms. Montgomery is that She's one of my favorite teachers in that she's also a reason why I try not to give up in class and try to keep going because every time I either have a bad mood or something, she I can always go to her and have a nice conversation and she always make me laugh or smile some way or another. Ms. Johnson, like, I remember being the bad kid in sixth grade, like, I was mean to everyone except for her because I felt like she really cared about me and I remember she gave me a behavior tracker, and I didn't want to disappoint her. The special memory is I've been, I have teachers that are awesome and they help me. Thank you for believing in me, and thank you because I know I'm going to be successful in life because of you and all my teachers. Can I give you a hug?